Uh, yes, it is. It is a beautiful film. I think it all started when we go to the airport. The people there, and it's it's always like that here. People love love the Springboks and they love rugby. Who started the world? And our training sessions, our open training sessions, were amazing. How the people came out, and we could feel it during the game. You know, especially when it comes, we start to hear them doing the Mexican wave. You know, and you know it was just beautiful, and we appreciate it. It means a lot to to us as a team and. Yeah, we really appreciate it because it helped us this time. Rasi, uh, oh sorry, Rasi. <laughs> Rasi, uh, what are the biggest positives to you? Uh, Hendrik, I think you know if you if you, I think in the past uh, couple of months when we made changes, we, we lost matches. You know when we made a lot of changes and we made eight changes, being positional or by injury or new caps coming in, uh, in, in after a test match beating New Zealand to make eight changes and, and beat Australia after you know, haven't beaten the, I think the last six games this is the first win. So I think the positive is that we're starting to win games now when we make changes so, so that's a positive and then obviously uh, uh, we didn't play tactically well I thought the second half but although the guts the boys showed against the character is great um, and then I think the last positive is Although we didn't score a lot of tries, we, we definitely created a hell of a lot of opportunities, which I thought if we, if we, if we scored that, we would have give, given them a, a good, good hiding. But at the end, it was actually a close game because they, they played terribly so well the second half. Rossi, great lineouts. And which other areas do you think you guys did well in? And why did you put in Valencia and Eliantis? I'm oh, sorry, can you repeat the question? Sorry. I'm saying great lineouts. Which other areas do you think? Boys played well in today, and why didn't you put in Valencia and Diantis? Oh, yeah, no, I, th I thought the liners weren't that great. I, th I think we contested well on their liners. I thought our own liners, uh, they really contested well, uh, especially the first time, the first half, and then at half time, you know, the guys made good plans. The second half, the liners were, were much better. Uh, and, yeah, no, you know, definitely we, we make changes in the game as we see fit, where we need changes to be made. Like we substituted the captain last week with 10 minutes to go uh, to win the test match against New Zealand because he was tired. So you only make tactical changes when it's really going to change the game. If, if you're busy winning a test match, you don't just make changes for the sake of it. Rossi, how, how frustrated are you to leave so many points out from the field today? Oh, well, I'm disappointed. You know, I'm happy to win, first of all. So, so the frustration is, is, is not about the result. You know, I, I guess. The moment we start talking about leaving points out there and we take the win for granted, we're going, going down the wrong route. We must first of all be happy with the win. Uh, but then I think you're right. We did um, uh, leave a lot of points out there, which we'll work on and converting those points into actual scores. Uh, you know, uh, but at least the opportunities were created, which I felt maybe early in the year we struggled to do that. So yeah, a bit frustrating. How many points were you targeting in, in the log of the rugby championship and, and how far are you achieving that? No, we didn't target any any locks. You know, we, we just wanted to grow as a team. It's the first time that we um, ever worked together uh, this year when we got together as a team, coaching each other and knowing one another. So we didn't have any target. We just we, we took it game for game, trying to grow as a team. If you were an open side, were a blind side flanker, let's hope next week you're a week better. So we're just trying to grow. And I think we, we grow grown as a team. Uh, I think it's actually irrelevant currently. You know, if the All Blacks beat um, Argentina, they've won the rugby championship. So. I think there's growth, and that, and that was our ultimate goal. Rossi, just on the defensive performance, um, <coughs> sorry, just on the defensive performance, uh, that second half exceptionally well, the job of coping with the rush defence a lot better now, especially in the back line, the alignment, <coughs> scrambling off that does been a lot better than earlier in the season, must be really pleased. Uh, yes, Brendan, I think it's, it's something where we only get your defence right, especially with the system we have, where if, you, if you've made a, a few mistakes on defence at the highest level, I don't think it's something you can read in a book or do a training session and, and get it right. It's only by making mistakes and eventually making less mistakes getting it right. So, yes, I think yes, I think CR made a great spot tackle once to save us, and overall Cheslin made a, g a good few. Uh, Notch made a good uh, spot tackle. So, overall, I think the guys are getting the hang of it. Uh, but yeah, well, next week is going to be <laughs> a tough challenge because New Zealand would have faced our defence now and they would make a few plans for that. Rossi, just quickly, um, Rossi, yes. uh, just quickly um, on defence and the attack especially, um, there was a lot, not a lot of attack tonight. You guys had a few chances you took it in the start. Um, is there a possibility, like you said now, the All Blacks is going to be adopting game plan? What, what, what's, your, what's your 
formal protection would be against all of this? Yeah, well, if we attacked, like we attacked the last game uh, in Wellington, we scored five strikes, you know, so if we do something similar, that would be fantastic. You know, I don't think it will be that easy. I actually really think tonight we created more chances uh, than we did against the All Blacks. I really thought we created six or seven chances. Sia down the right hand touch, Sia off to half time, Cheslin down the touch, the grabber through to Cheslin. You know, there were so many opportunities. Up here we had the first one on the left hand side where he could have scored. So I really thought if we converted one or two of those, the game could have gone differently. But no hands up, uh, you know, that's something we have to improve on. Uh, if we leave a lot of opportunities like that out there next week, it will be a tough game to win. So I agree with you.